Hello YouTube modelers. Welcome back to my channel. I want to thank all my subscribers and viewers and want to wish everyone a happy new year. First video for 2023. Let's start off. I want to start off by thanking Greg McGirt um, for the shop card but also for the NASCAR driver. The last video I put out I requested if anyone had any available NASCAR drivers and I got an overwhelming response. I want to thank everyone who offered to help me, um, but I ended up getting um, some NASCAR drivers from both Greg and from Brian Den. So I uh, just want to thank both Brian and Greg for sending me the um, NASCAR drivers. I'm actually going to purchase some additional drivers and accessories so that I can use them for all my NASCAR future, present, and past bills so I can put them in. But anyway, go check out um, Greg if you haven't done so already. He's Grumpy Greg. We actually both live in the same state, but he lives on the opposite corner of New York State, and I live um, pretty far away from him, or mostly, because New York State is so large, we're really far away from each other. But anyway, so thank you, Greg. Go check out his channel. I'll have his channel in the description. And also thank you, Brian. I'll, uh, I know you haven't posted anything, but I sub to you, Brian. So when you start posting videos, I'll be notified. So I'll put both of their channels up in the description. Go check them out if you haven't done so already. Also want to thank everyone for their Christmas cards. I believe I reached out to all those that have sent me a Christmas card thanking you personally and um, I know I haven't reviewed it on this channel. Uh, next up, I kind of want to address um, Chuck. Chuck's rides, Chucky's rides. Um, I believe he tagged me and the challenge was which are the kits that you really like and why. So. There are many reasons why I like a kit. It, not, it doesn't have to necessarily be a quality made kit, but sometimes it's what the kit reminds you of or maybe what it means to you. So I know a lot of my subscribers are model car builders, but for me, a lot of military kits um, come to mind only because I built a lot of military kits before building all these cars present day. The first kit that I was impressed with is the Monogram 148 scale. This is an extra one that's sealed and I haven't built yet, but I have built one in the past. It's actually in storage. I have to pull it out. I like this kit because it was my first and only large scale bomber that I've built to date which was heavily detailed in the interior even though with these airplane kits when you seal the fuselage no one's going to see it but I was impressed with the interior detail I know there are some kits out there that are even more detailed but to me when I built it I don't know in my late 20s in my 20s maybe when I had a decent amount of experience um, I enjoyed the B-17. I was impressed with the large scale and with the interior. So to me, um, that kit was impressive because the quality was decent and I was exposed to decent interior detail. Um, another kit that comes to mind, which I don't have a box to, is um, Tamiya. 135 scale M1 Abrams. It was a three-way remote control motorized tank. It had three motors in it, one motor for each side of the track, and one motor for the turret, which you can turn. It came with a battery pack and it had three wires leading into the hull. That I don't have the box to. Another kit that comes to mind is the Tester's SR-71 Blackbird. 148 scale. It was special because um, it was also a large-scale kit, which I really enjoyed. The 
parts fit very well together. Um, I hear that the new one from Ravel doesn't quite fit as well, so maybe if you guys want to find an older testers, I found it to be um, pretty decent. That one, I don't have the box, but the kit is also in storage. Um, and another one that comes to mind is the BJ and the Bear kit by AMT. That one actually is not really that correct. The kit was okay, it's not really great quality. But to me, it was what the kit stood for because I used to love watching BJ and the Bear. And when they came out with that kit, I had to buy it. It's basically the uh, Kenworth Cabova Aerodyne. They basically just took like a um, large transporter with the long frame and they just boxed it. But the decals were kind of unique because they weren't water slides. They were rub off. You just placed it against the a model and then you just rubbed it and then it would adhere to it. And even though I bought it new, the decal, the main important decal um, actually tore or was cracked. So I couldn't even use the main one, which was the stripe that goes over the front headlights and wraps around to the side. So that one was a disappointment with the decal, but it was what the kit stood for to me. I just love BJ and the Bear series. So, what is that? Four kits? The Tamiya Abrams tank? B-17 monogram? BJ and the Bear? And another one that comes to mind, again, not a great quality kit, but um, it's just one of my first serious automobile model kits. It's the AMT 1964 Chevy Impala Super Sport. Great body, bad detail in the chassis, but to me it was one of my first serious car model kits. So it's basically those four kits and the uh, test is SR71. So I don't really want to tag anyone in particular because then I feel like I'm obligated obligating them to uh, make a video but um, it'll be nice to see what others might think are their best kits and why I mean so many people I would like to hear from I guess is uh, Seamus from See Me BMW because he um, and I'm choosing these people because of their diversity because um, he builds all mix category of kits and he likes to um put the electronics in so it'll be nice to hear from him what kits he thinks are um special and um from kurt from keh model works he also builds both cars and airplanes so it'll be nice to hear from him and uh i guess that's it for now like, again i really don't want to tag people because then i don't want to obligate them to uh make a video but so those are the kits that I like. So as far as Dan the Man, his 60s psychedelic, I was thinking about the Aston Martin DB4. This kit, or this car, was actually produced from 1958 to 1963. So I hope that's okay with you, Dan, because it kind of straddles the 1960s. It's something different. It's European. Now, I happen to have two of the same kit and the reason why I was introduced to this kit was I actually had and built the 1978 release by Monogram it came molded in gray and I always thought that was a beautiful color that was back in the time when Monogram actually colored their kits they weren't just generic white and I thought the gray was a beautiful color and I built it as is like many kits those era you can probably just build a kit and clear coat it it'll probably look half decent so i built that kit and then i threw out the model for some stupid reason but it wasn't really built to you know to the experience i have now so maybe after building these two kits i may have to locate that 1978 edition it's the one with the gray aston martin in the front it's a photo of an actual model kit and the background is blue but anyway i end up getting the release before that, the Aurora, because this isn't a 
original Aurora Mole, and then the Repop much later by Ravel Monogram using the same box art. This box is bigger, the quality of the cardboard is much thinner. This one is a 1965. Aurora was located in Long Island in New York. I didn't make the connection, but Aurora also makes his slot cars, the AFX, remember those? And then this one is a 97, just with the repopped. I'm not expecting any major differences, because I think it's, there was really nothing new or special they put in it. It's just a repop. So let's just take a look at it. Doing this with one hand. has the old instructions which I love. Look how old and vintage it looks. Black and white photograph. If you have an idea you can win a thousand dollars. I don't want to really get into it in that much detail because we can do that later. It's just interesting. Mail 10 cents, you can get an Aurora full color catalog. But this one I believe had some parts missing, so I had to contact their seller and he sent me. I guess he had to break it out from another kit, some chrome pieces, but it's very similar. The red, red. I just remember the 78 edition. I like that one better because the body was molded in gray and the interior was molded in black. So looks like I may have to buy that addition somehow. But both of these are molded interior red. Some parts in black. I remember this kit because it was highly detailed. Opening hood, trunk, doors. Comes with luggage. You see the square luggage pieces. Tires. You can either use black walls or you can use these white wall inserts. So let's just take a quick look. There's no difference in the body. They're both the same size. They look the same. The one in plastic is just ivory white. This one has aged a little bit with a little yellowing. But it doesn't matter, I'm going to paint over it. I think one I'm going to spray gray, like the one I built in 78, and then one I'll try to spray British Racing Green. I don't know. Um, but one thing that kind of stands out, I think, is the stamping. This one says Ravel Monogram. This one says Ravel Monogram 1978. I guess that's when they took over the mold. I don't know if you guys can see it. But this one says Aurora 1965. So those, that's the major difference, it's just the stamping. Copyright, but that's about it. Construction sheet is more modern. It's basically the same kit. 
and the molded colors are are the same. But I really like that 78 edition. It uh, came molded in gray. The interior came molded in black. Yeah, pictures are the same too. Just one is blown up slightly, cleaned up, it's whiter. Look at that, see, same picture. Just over here you have the old advertisements. 10 cents, 25 cents, right here everything's the same. So this picture, it looks like it's reverse. Very similar. Very similar. It's the same. If anything, they just mirrored it and reversed it, but this just has numbers. This one, the old instruction is used to. I guess people had better reading levels and they use more English text. So that's about it. So I think I'm going to use one of these kits. I might use the Aurora one. I don't know. Because the Aurora one has already been opened. The Ravel Monogram one bagged all right so that's it so that's my entry I think I'm gonna build one of these Aston Martins okay